is one of the most uh, important exercises for the RSN. I'm very proud that I'm part of it. There are three great ships that sail on the high seas. Friendship, partnership, and leadership. All three are exemplified here at RIMPAC. The Rim of the Pacific exercise or RIMPAC is held every two years and is the largest international maritime exercise in the world. This year's exercise, conducted in the waters near Hawaii and off the coast of San Diego, involves 22 nations, 49 ships, 6 submarines, more than 200 aircraft and 25,000 personnel. The exercise includes a wide range of operations, from disaster relief and maritime security to complex war fighting. RIMPAC provides participating forces the opportunity to train together so that the Pacific region can deal with potential disruptions to global supply chains and threats to lines of communication and commerce. China and Brunei joins this naval exercise for the first time, which has grown in size from just five countries when it first started. Friends help friends, and often the fastest response to crisis comes from the sea. Capable maritime forces matter to all nations. Representing Singapore in this exercise, RSS Intrepid, a formidable class stealth frigate, takes command of a task unit consisting of four other warships. This is the second time the Republic of Singapore Navy is commanding a task unit in exercise RIMPAC. We have one ship from Chile, one ship from uh, Norway, uh, and two ships from the US. They have different operating procedures and different processes of doing things. So once we came here, we didn't waste a lot of time to get down to the detailed planning and through discussions. It's a very rare opportunity for us to expose our naval sailors as well as other SAF personnel to experience long deployment. How is it like? RIMPAC is divided into two phases, the shore phase and the sea phase. The shore phase consists of planning and coordination with the various navies in the task unit that RSS Intrepid is in charge of. In the sea phase, these plans are executed together with the four other ships in the Pacific Ocean. The frigate hones its Pacific warfighting capabilities in three areas, anti-submarine, anti-surface and anti-aircraft warfare. A Seahawk naval helicopter is deployed with the ship to assist in the mission. One of the uh, roles of the uh Seahawk is uh, anti-submarine warfare or ASW and uh, in exercise impact it provides a great avenue for us to do realistic training and cooperation with the other navies. To ensure that the Seahawk flies over safe waters, the ship's crew monitor it closely. We have to take note of the safety of the aircraft. We have to constantly maintain awareness of the situation around the ship as well as around the aircraft even up to 50 to 70 miles to ensure that the aircraft is safe. During the course of the exercise, over 100 crew members work in shifts to keep the ship operational around the clock. So it's the first time during RIMPAC, we have uh, up to 10 national service people joining us. So it's good that uh, they could help us. It's something that I've not been able to be part of during my NS days. So when there's a chance given to me, uh, I would love to come here and here I am uh, in this deployment. Prior to deployment for the sea phase, the crew of RSS Intrepid hosts a dinner for the other participating navies. This is a naval tradition commonly practiced to facilitate interaction and friendship among the crew of various countries. Our goal tonight is to share with you a little piece of Singapore. Many of you would know Singaporeans love our food and we have tried our best to prepare a good sampling of Singaporean cuisine. A special cultural performance by the ship's crew is also on the agenda. Captain Marilyn Sin, who is an assistant operations officer on board the ship, takes her hobbies as seriously as her day job. One of her hobbies 
is playing the kucheng. The kucheng is a traditional Chinese instrument much like a harp, and the 21-string instrument takes many years to master. Captain Marilyn Sims' performance leaves the audience spellbound with a lasting impression on the guests. I'm very impressed with the Singapore Navy. This, uh, this ship, I think, is a fantastic example of that. Uh, very capable from the, from the bow to the stern. At daybreak, the crew are fully aware that the success of the next phase of operations depends on their preparations and leadership. As we move further into the sea phase, we will not always be sure of what we are doing ahead of time and things will be a bit more fluid and it will be a bit more challenging as we have to be on our toes and always getting ready to get stuff done. In the next episode, find out how RSS Intrepid fares in the sea phase of RIMPAC 2014.